I have it here. A shield bearing the sign of the Web of Weird, woven into this shield as you wove your spirit into our life. May the skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you. Feast, my friend, in the halls of the free and brave. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Hemingerson. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. You have made this old man proud, each of you. And you, us. Nine days, one eye hung from the tree. Nine worlds he saw. Nine runes he found. Nine nights he bled. Further, receive your loyal servant. Give him a fine farewell. Sunua, ride to Hemfork and prepare the longhouse for the Althing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Okay, it just erupted into chaos. Will take the great yard's place? Will we decide at the next thing? I'll just see. You have seen what was needed. I have more than enough. 
Pono autem ut Deus vult hoc esse heik patiar in nominis sui gloria. Oh. I hardly recognized you outside of your cave. I regret not seeing my great Jarl again. You have done him a kindness by being here. Now do him one more. Have another drink, or ten. Yeah, just erupted in chaos is all the NPCs. Um... There's one right here, you silly. There's all the NPCs. Um... Try to go to... I think their destinations all at once. I think that's what's happening. They were all trying to get at least away from the fire. Because, yeah, the NPCs don't like fire. Oh, for some reason I keep seeing that. I keep thinking it's canon. I'm like, cannons don't exist yet. Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemminger's son. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The Alding will begin shortly. Eivor! You look... uneasy. I'm not so drunk I cannot stand, but... Hang on to me a moment. You do your father proud by this celebration, and by taking his seat. He wanted this, Willy. I should have given him the satisfaction of accepting his offer while he lived. <sighs> He knows my heart beats for battle and glory, not leadership and wise counsel. I felt the same. But in time we all rise to the needs of the people. Who says you won't come to enjoy it? <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. And certainly if you can lead, uh, Hemmingson can. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Nottinghamshire. We honor neither Trigvi nor my father by continuing to mourn. These men dedicated their lives to bettering all of Nottingham. They died in that service. Now, I humbly pledge my life to following in their path. And I ask each of you to rise. Be to me what Trigvi was to my father. Together, we shall build the world they wish to build. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Vilayal. <laughs> it will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There was no need, for you are family. Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? Aye. Well... Be fair, be just, and call upon us often, our stick.
I'm sure I will. Ram will want to know about this. It is time I return to the settlement. Oh. Normally you say the same thing. But that one was different. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. I bring fair tidings, Ranvi. Himingar Jal in Snodingham Shire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He's their Jal now, and he's pledged to aid us in times of need. Okay, there's water. I don't know, it feels like the game is starting to slow down. Because really, it feels like not a lot has happened. I don't, I don't even know how many islands, and I have not progressed through the main story. At the settlement, at least. A message has come. Hi, Roar. It feels so odd to put pen to vellum after all that took space. Hey, don't. Um, oh, yeah, I remember you now, with, um, Sinon. I recovered and am thriving myself in my elder manly duties, oh dear. How I started to speak like Sinon, sometimes I feel his spirit lingering like he takes up a space in my brain and cannot be exercised. I ramble, you still think of me in Clochester as a friend, and welcome you to try the first sender. <laughs> Ottoman Tador, if you've time, God knows it is a long ride from your home to mine, your servant and friend, Tador. <laughs> uh. And then this is really who I just left. Thank you for your aid, dear Eivor. You, you helped me say goodbye to my father and helped me find a place in this war. It's not much, but you should find a small token of appreciation with this letter. This act will end my father and will be better in your hands than mine. Oh, so that's what this act was. Jack o' lantern. How many other decorations can you get? Well, you have a little chair that you can't actually sit in. Um, let's go to Gorchester. Somewhere over here? Nope. Um, it's not that far. Isn't it somewhere up here? Or maybe down here. I don't exactly remember. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah. We're gonna visit.
Where is the longhouse? Go. That's My what eyes. we're looking for. Oh, there it is. It's in the middle of the ruins. They're always, it always throws me off. The oddest thing I've heard is this blast. Hey, Yes, yes, we will still be doing Beltane celebrations come spring. Now, how are our seed inventories? Eivor, you came! Hello, Tefter. Are you well? I must say, the sight of you warms a weary heart. And how is Gloucester? Wolves thinned our flocks my first moon as Elderman. Then Blythe visited our remaining crops. Poor omens of my own rule. That will be trouble come winter. But enough of that. You deserve a diverting evening of friendship. Come. I've something to show you. Hmm. These are the really counts that quite more just events that happen. So the cow pulls itself free and careers down the road, dragging the banner behind it. <laughs> quite the spirited creature. You gave chase? <laughs> On foot! Almost all the way to Halewin's cavern! <laughs> And then again, I looked the fool when they followed on horses. Eivor, may I ask, what is it that you seek forgiveness for? <laughs> I was raised to be a priest, Eivor, so I know what a troubled face looks like. I made a mistake. Many mistakes. that rolled together like snow thunder. What mistake? I would rather not say. There is nothing to be gained by gawking at a weeping wound. Well, if you ever need someone to talk to, let me shoulder some of that burden. If you have a need. That is kind of you. So we're done with this little event. Let's equip the axe. Yes. Do you can have the meat? And speed. more rations and driver. Two forty. So we're only ten off now. So let's do high thumbs missions down there. Can't bring Petra anything. She's the only one I can think of. I 
Wait, Wallace? Animal go to your face? Oh yeah, I can hold three now. Hey, my boy. A passenger. My love. I want to see the Alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow. Your hidden ally? Yes. As a West Saxon stronghold. When if you go. Last one for now. I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Anything else? Nope. I should go. Let's take water. 